All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 5 to the power of 11 minus 3 to the power of 2. So I want to find the value of this problem. So what many people try to do to solve this is they first start by trying to take the power of 5, or sorry, 5 to the power of 11. But this is difficult because you have to multiply 5 by itself 11 times, and that's going to be a very big number. So instead of doing that, I have another method to solve this. So first, I'm actually just going to solve 3 squared, which is simple. It's 9. So this turns into 5 to the power of 11 minus 9. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite 5 to the power of 11 as 5 to the power of 10 plus 1. This way, I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now this turns into phi to the power of 10 times phi to the power of 1 minus 9. Now, from here, I can factor out 5 from this. So I get 5 times 5 to the power of 10 minus 1 minus 4. And this turns into 5 times 5 to the power of 5 times 2 which I'm rewriting 5 to the power of 10 as, minus 1, minus 4. Now, another property of exponents that you guys should remember is that if you have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So, 5 to the power of 5 times 2, I can rewrite as 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 2, now this minus 1, minus 4. Now, I'm going to rewrite 1 here as 1 squared. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So notice how we have a squared, which in this case a is 5 to the power of 5, minus b squared, which in this case b is 1. So it turns into 5 times 5 to the power of 5 plus 1, which is a plus b, times 5 to the power of 5 minus 1, a minus b. And then we have minus 4 at the end. Now, earlier, remember, we had 5 to the power of 11, which was quite difficult to solve. But now we have 5 to the power of 5, which is actually much simpler to solve because it's just 5 multiplied by itself 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. So I have 25 times 25 times 5, which is 625 times 5, which is 3,125. So I get 5 times 3,125 plus 1 times 3,125 minus 1 minus 4. Now all that's left to do is to simplify this. So 3,125 plus 1 is 3,126. And 3,125 minus 1 is 3,124. And then we have minus 4 at the end. 
So the main challenge right now that we have is multiplying 3,126 with 3,124. What we could do is multiply the normal way, which is like this. However, this is going to take very long and it could result in many errors because there's several steps in doing this. So instead, I'm going to do another method that's much simpler and more efficient. So what I'm going to do is rewrite 3,126 as 3,100 plus 26. This way we have a simpler number because it ends in a zero. And same with 3,124. I'm going to write it as 3,100 plus 24. So this way, to multiply these, I can just distribute. And there's no real challenge in multiplying any of these numbers because the larger numbers end with zero. So now I get five times And what I'm going to do again is rewrite 3100 as 31 times 100. So now it's just even smaller. So I have this plus 26. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use u substitution. So I'm going to let the variable u equal to 100. So now I get five times 31 u, 31 times u plus 26 times 31 times u plus 24 minus four. So now if I distribute over here, I get five times 31u times 31u plus 31u times 24 plus 26 times 31u plus 26 times 24. And then we have minus 4 at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply all of these. So I have 5 times, well, 31 times 31 is 961, and u times u is u squared. Now 31 times 24 is 744, and we have u over here, plus 26 times 31 is going to be 806, and we have u, plus 26 times 24 is 624. Now, I'm going to add these two so that they're like terms. So I get 5 times 961u squared plus 1550u plus 624 minus 4. And now, I'm going to multiply all these terms with 5. So 5 times 961 is 4805 and we have u squared, 5 times 1550 is 7750u. Finally, 5 times 624 is 3116. And then we have minus 4 at the end. Or sorry, it's 3120, and then I have minus 4, which turns into 3116. Now, the last step is to just plug in the value of u. So remember, u is equal to 100. So it's not that hard to just plug it in because all we have to do is work with hundreds and multiplying hundreds is simple. 100 squared is 10,000. So I have 4,805 times 10,000, which we can just add four zeros to the end of. So now I get 48,050,000 plus 7,750 with two zeros, which turns into 775,000 
plus 3116. And now if I add all these up, forty eight million fifty thousand plus seven hundred seventy five thousand plus three thousand one hundred sixteen. I have six over here, one one, five plus three is eight, seven plus five is twelve, seven plus one is eight, eight, four. So my final answer of five to the power of 11 minus three squared is 48,828,116. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x plus nine to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x. Now the 25 and 25 cancel out for one, so now I have four to the power of x over 25 to the power of x plus nine to the power of x over 25 to the power of x is equal to one. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So four to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 4 over 25 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 9 over 25 to the power of x. From here, I can rewrite 4 over 25 as 2 squared over 5 squared. And I can rewrite 9 over 25 as 3 squared over 5 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, remember, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 squared over 5 squared turns into 2 over 5 squared. And the same thing with 3 squared over 5 squared. So I get 3 over 5 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So the 2 and x multiply. So I get 2 over 5 to the power of 2x plus 3 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 1. And this means that 2x is equal to 1. So now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So this is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video.